Hey everybody, how's your summer going? We Mike here and welcome back to some more Eastside Hockey Manager. Last episode, we did our first NHL uh, entry draft and we drafted some okay players. Um, I don't know necessarily how good or valuable they are, but we drafted some new players and hopefully they will turn out to be excellent players for the Boston Bruins in the near future. We also last episode did the NHL awards in which one of the guys we actually voted for ended up becoming the winner of that award and I was excited because one of the people we actually voted for actually got an NHL award. Uh, but anyway, this episode we will be diving in to the NHL uh, free agency and we are going to try to see if we can you know make some good signages see how many guys we can resign all that good stuff see if we can improve our team now guys I just want to give you a heads up I don't know how long this episode will be so I do apologize guys I'm hoping it won't be like the 18 or 19 minute videos I have been doing lately um, I hope I'm hoping it's not that long, uh, but we'll have to wait and see. And I should also mention, guys, I don't know necessarily about this either, but I don't know if this will be our last uh, video for this Let's Play or if this will be the last one for now and then down the line do another uh, Let's Play video in the near future for Eastside Hockey Manager. Um, my goal was to show you guys, I think, up to this point and stuff, but I didn't know if I was going to do one in the near future where I get past the free agency and start the new season with, um, you know, my players and who I acquire and stuff, you know, show you guys the basics, what all change and stuff, or if I was going to do one where I would use the updated rosters, which are right now available in the... Uh, Steam uh, workshop for Eastside Hockey Manager in case you guys want to download it and play the latest updated version for this past year that's available now in the workshop if you want to download that um, but I didn't know if I was going to do another episode of this let's play with the updated rosters and start you know this whole the the whole next season over which would be this upcoming season or if I was going to come back uh, next episode guys and show you what I've done during the summer in this game and show you my changes for the upcoming season for the next episode so I don't know if this will be necessarily the last episode for this let's play or if this will be the last one for now I don't know guys so I just thought I better let you know because I didn't really tell you guys what I was doing for this let's play and I do apologize guys I was still working it out myself in my head um, the trading um, I do want to show you guys, so don't worry, I will actually show you guys that in the near future. I do apologize, I have not shown you guys that yet. Um, like I said, I didn't expect the trading to be that difficult, but I do want to show you guys trading. So I do promise you there will be an episode on that. But I don't know if it's going to be like a full episode like these, or if it's going to be just like a mini, hey, here's how to trade and stuff. Because I promise you guys, and I messed up. And I didn't show you, but here it is now and stuff. I, I didn't know, um, you know, how that was going to work. Uh, but anyway, before we start this free agency, I want to show you guys. Um, I can't remember if we talked about this um, last episode or not. I can't remember. So I wanted to show you guys. We actually got one guy to resign with us before the free agency, which was nice. And Brad... Mitch Land was voted Boston player, Boston Bruins player of the year by fans and stuff, which I actually thought was nice. Um, he was a good player, so I think he deserves it. Um, but I could not remember. I know it was like a week ago, guys. I do apologize. But I can't remember if we did or not. So I thought, you know what? I'm going to show you guys quick before free agency starts. Uh, so anyway, I'm going to continue now. And what's going to happen is the guys I didn't resign, which I didn't resign a few of them, um, the next day, which will be Sunday, will be July 1st, all the free agents will come out. Um, now, 
my strategy for free agency is this. The guys I did not resign, I figure I could get a good deal and try during free agency, let them test market, and hopefully we can resign them because they realize, wow, we should just resign and not, um, you know, and not try anywhere else because, you know, it's a better deal. Sometimes I can get better deals from them if they're in the free agency, and other times um, it works out better. I just don't know why it does. Uh, but anyway, um, I'm, I'm going to go buy these a little bit fast, guys. I'm not going to read these all. Um, I will talk about some of the big ones like Rick Nash leaving the Rangers. Um, Ryan Spooner left. I'm going to try to resign him. He left. I'm going to try to resign him. Um, looks like a good bit of players left. Uh, now, the other thing I wanted to talk about is actually, I'm going to wait till we get there. I want to try to resign this goalie as well. Dane Char, that's one I wanted to talk about. Um, I tried to offer him contracts, guys, and he just will not accept any because for some reason, guys, he is considering retiring. So, because of that, I'm not even going to bar offering him a contract. So, because of that, I'm just going to hit all here quick, guys. Read all. Um, so, because of that, I'm going to try to see if we can find another defenseman. And, uh, hopefully, he'll fill in for Dane Chara if he's considering, since he's now considering retirement. Uh, Buffalo Sabres will be hosting the NHL entry draft for next season. That's cool. Um, looks like a couple guys got offers here. Uh, there is actually a point to me going up this way guys. I in case you were wondering. Okay, we got 10 million dollars for TV rights for next season. That's nice The board of governors approve Move my uh, oh, yeah, excuse me my expectations. They want me to improve The team roster this season. I apologize I was thinking it was that email because I seen quite already enough where the board saying hey we um, approve of your leadership continue doing what you're doing uh, but anyway here's three guys we signed I don't know if they're guys we drafted in the past and they're just now you know being signed or if they're guys that we drafted and you know they're available to us I'm not you know I'm not quite sure uh, but anyway why we are here because I don't want to go off because I almost made that mistake um, I'm actually going to go and make a few offers here. Now, the nice thing about this is, guys, I can go where I want to go, like right here. Our guy, I can just click on his name and offer him a contract. Um, I don't know if he will accept, but we are going to try our best during this free agency to see what we can do. I'm not interested in a... Not interested... Oh, don't want that much. I'm not interested in a seven year deal so we'll have to see what happens here i want to offer him this much and we'll give him a little bit more signing bonus so hopefully he'll resign with us then um let's see i do apologize guys if this isn't interesting it's just free agency i don't really know what to say other than what I'm saying now. Uh, Matt Hendricks, I want to resign because I, at first I wasn't going to, guys, but he was good in the AHL, and I thought, well, you know what, we should try to resign him. I want to give him two years, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to give him that, and then next season give him that, and I'm going to give him a little bit of a bonus. I want to see if I can resign him for two years. Hopefully, he will accept that. Oh, and I was going to give him a two way contract. Oh, well. We'll just keep him in the American League. Um, John Albert, we're not re-signing. Dane Chara, I already told you. Goaltender, I want to re-sign. He helped us out when Tugaras was not at his peak. So what I'm going to do, he wants five seasons. I'm going to see if I can get him in at four. And offer him a little bit less, like two mil maybe. Hopefully that will work. Um, I know it's not a lot, but... Yeah, he'll accept. We'll give him, we'll give him a little raise and sign-in bonus. Just hopefully he'll resign. Signing with us. Uh, let's see who else. Yes, this guy. I know a lot of guys want David Pavlik. I think his name is. But I'm gonna try to resign him. So if we don't end up having him next season, you guys know why. <laughs> because he's just too irresistible for teams not to take. I'm gonna offer him this. So. Actually, now we're going to go up a little bit. 
But I just don't think he's worth that. I mean, he had a good season. Don't get me wrong, but I don't think he was worth. You know what? Let's give him a little raise towards the end. And I, I don't think he's necessarily worth with what he wants. But yet again, if I want him, I'm going to have to pay top dollar now. So we'll have to see what happens. This guy, I definitely want to resign Ryan Spooner. Definitely core player. Uh, he wants five years. Uh, we'll give him five years. What What the heck? We'll give him five years. We can give him a slight, you know, dis discredit thing. Um, his last season, we'll give him, you know, 2.6. But for now, that's what we're going to give him. And hopefully this will work out. Hopefully. Um, like I said, we still need to sign a defenseman. So hopefully this will work out. Um, now I want to try to, to get Nick uh, Nick Nash. Um, again, to the short list. I'm not sure where that is. But we'll look for it then. I'm going to add him there in case this don't work out. Then we you know, know where to find him again. Um, but I, I tried to make a trade for him. And I couldn't get him. So I'm going to see if we can get him signed with us. going to offer him 6. I think we're going to offer him 6 mil. I don't necessarily know if he's worth what he wants. But we'll offer him like that. And hopefully he'll accept. Because I think that's a good offer. Um, yeah, I think, that's, I think that's about it. So we will hit continue. And we'll go from there. We'll have to look at... Uh, you know defenseman here then but i just thought we'll just worry about day one trying to resign some of these guys or make offers on some of these guys okay so let's see what's new the schedule for next season's been released oh uh, barry long one of our scouts has retired we'll have to look for someone new maybe that's where we can get dane to char i don't know it's worth a shot the gm for pittsburgh retires the gm for toronto retires this is what I thought that email yesterday was, but the board of governors are over well happy with my performance. That's great. Here's a couple, yeah, I figured. A couple of GMs that have got fire. I'm going to hit read all. I don't really feel like going through them all. And looks like a couple of guys got offered contracts. Now, this is one defense. This is a defenseman here, guys. So I think I'm going to go in. Actually, no, I'm not going to go in this way, guys. I know I said it's easier, but I said to you, I, I promised you guys I would show you the free agency thing. So let me show you here quick. We're going to go there. And we're going to go into free agents. I wanted to show you guys this. And boy, you got a lot of guys here that you can sign. But we're going to filter in defensemen and stuff. But one thing I noticed is, guys, it gives you not just the available ones. It gives you all the good, all the uh defensemen that are already signed with other teams too and when you try to sign them then it says about trying to make a trade to acquire them so i don't know why it does that uh but anyway jack johnson is a guy i want to offer a contract to since we're going to lose dane chara i want to offer him five years at six mil piece hopefully we can get him there and we'll offer him a little bonus there too we'll offer him that um, yeah, I mean, it's not really hard for that, but I figured, oh, gotta cancel out. I figured, guys, I should at least show you where you do the free agency thing, at least since this is the free agency episode. I should show you at least that. Um, the nice thing is it lets you filter out and stuff, which categories you want. Unfortunately, again, I don't know why it gives you all these available defensemen. Defensemen, even though some of the defensemen they give you are already signed with other teams and if you want them you have to make a trade for them I don't necessarily know why it does that but anyway we'll just put up with it and hopefully we can get Jack Johnson to sign with us because if Dane Shard does retire we're not going to be able to um, you know we're not going to have him and stuff and the other thing is I'm not going to resign him if he automatically decides he's not going to retire because why should I when we tried to offer you contracts okay um I don't want to end the episode necessarily yet guys again I know there's not much action which I am sorry for uh but I'm going to hit read all here 
Uh, but I was hoping we could at least get one of our guys to resign with us before I ended this episode. So hopefully this will end before the 16 minute mark, hopefully, or the 17th minute mark. So hopefully it won't be that long. A bunch of guys were offered contracts. Um, like I said, this David Passney is going to be a hard guy to resign. So we'll have to see what happens. Um, looks like someone's that Frank guy rejected their offer. Okay. Well, I'm not going to not going to do that right now. Okay, good. Hendrix looks like he wants to resign. So yes. Oh, Nash wants to sign with us. Okay, great. Let's do that because if we lose Pellier, that's fine. Don't see anything else yet, but if we can get Rick Nash, that'd be good. I'll set negotiate. Okay, I'm just going to do this quick. Uh, he wants... I'm still not interested. Let's give him free mail. Oop. Not what I wanted to do. Hold on, guys. I'm soon going to end the episode here. And then I think what I'm going to do is his last few years will give him more money, but we're not going to give him any more of that. Um... Okay, but if we can get Rick Nash, that's good. Um, okay, looks like we have to finalize. Okay, Ranger signed him. Okay, okay, good. That deal's finalized. Oh, that deal's finalized. Okay, Ryan Spoon agrees. And we have... Oh, our first disagreement was the board. Ooh. It's unrealistic. Are you kidding me? Oh my gosh. Okay, so we are actually going to do one more transaction here. I don't know why they're disagreeing with it. Uh, but we are going to give the guy right now a mil. Then we're going to give him two mil. Then we'll give him another two mil. Then we'll give him three mil. And then three, three mil again. We'll give him a signing bonus. Hopefully this will get the board. I think he's owed a little more money since the board rejected him. Uh, but anyway, I think we are going to call it quits there. Sorry guys, again, not much going on. But considering this was the free agency episode, I figured there wouldn't be much going on. So I do apologize guys. But it does sound like now we have Rick Nash and a few other guys returning. This is going to be a good upcoming season for us with hopefully some return players plus some new ones uh but anyway guys i'm going to call an episode here thank you guys so much for watching please do like comment whatever you guys want to do would be greatly appreciated and if this happens to be the first time you watch one of my videos or have watched one of my other videos in the past and thought i like this guy's content and i like to get notifications when he comes out with more content so i can watch it please consider hitting that subscribe button guys currently at the uh time of this video we have 96 that's right 96 subscribers to this channel and i thank you guys so much for it. our current subscribers our new subscribers our past subscribers i greatly appreciate it guys you guys rock thank you so much for subscribing I mean, but if you do like this channel, please consider hitting that subscribe button so that we can continue to grow. Again, greatly appreciate all our subs, new, present, and past. Thank you guys so much. And thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you guys in the next episode. Till then, guys. See ya.